Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rico Richardson and welcome back to my channel. In this episode of No Time Wasted Learning Dark Table, the color lookup table. And this is the image that we're going to work with. And I'm going to show you guys how the color lookup table works. I've put it in my favorites. Uh, you start off with a standard palette. But you can change this to presets as well, like the Fuji Astia emulation or like the Fuji Classic Chrome emulation. And that basically applies a lot to your image, gives you a broader color palette that you can work with. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset it and I'm going to show you guys something. These colors are predefined, which means that if you pick any of these colors, so let's start with the red one, you can increase the lightness of those pixels, you can decrease the lightness of those pixels, or you can change the color. So we can add in more green, we can add in more red, or we can add in more blue, and we can add in more yellow. What you can do as well is, let me reset that, is just increase the saturation, and then it'll change these values automatically, or decrease it, obviously. Now let's say for whatever reason you've got a color that's not in this palette. So let's get the color picker. Let's pick this color. And now it says I don't recognize this color. All you got to do is hit shift, click it, and then you see that the color appears over here. And now you can increase the lightness or decrease it as much as you like. Or you can increase the saturation or decrease it and it basically works like every other color that you see over here and that allows you to target a specific color which helps to emphasize a certain area or color in your image another thing you can change is the target color you can set it from relative to absolute and it says that control target color of the patches via relative offsets or via absolute lab values. That's way too technical for me. So I've put a link in the description for you guys to read up on it. If you want to see more of me, click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, there's a button for that over there as well. And there's one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!